I haven't been really excited about like washing my hair like let me try this I used to be so excited <laughs> It's me, Pretty Witty 77, and welcome to another edition of the Deep Condition, where we deep condition our hair together weekly while we get caught up on all things hair. So grab your conditioners and let's condition this. So I hope you guys enjoy your week because guess what? That was the the second to last. Well, pretty pretty much this week coming up is gonna be your last week in September. So I hope that you got things accomplished. And I hope that you know that rent is due next week, okay? Next week, what is it, next Monday? I'm not sure. I'm trying to go ahead and do that ahead of time. But anyways, welcome back, guys. <laughs> this month, uh, I kind of feel like this is kind of my break month because any month that has five Sundays in it, it gives me kind of like, a break from like deep conditioning live which it ain't no break but it's just like it's on, it's so on demand when you just got okay i gotta do it on this day whereas you know i can pre-record me one and still be working behind the scenes okay why did i just pin all of my hair up anyways ouch anyways uh let's jump into the fist pump news of the week because y'all already know i hit y'all with something great <laughs> this week is gonna go to my girl rihanna i feel like if i had to tally up how many fist pumps i've given rihanna this year it's been a lot so this fist pump is going to rihanna because she basically just signed a publishing deal with sony music which i feel like as long as you're getting your coins boo it's a good thing a lot of people don't like sony music though but i don't really know i don't get into all that technical stuff but let me just go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to be using today for my deep conditioner. This is the Obia Naturals Babasu Therapy Hair Mask. They have a one that's like a moisture deep conditioner. This one has a little bit of protein in it. It's not like a protein packed feel product because I don't like those. But it's also vegan and pH balanced and all that stuff. So this is what I'm going to be using today. I've definitely used this before and it's it's tolerable like it's it's not bad at all so yeah that's what i'm gonna be using it was so creepy uh, creamy it's just melting into my hair uh, but um i don't know maybe i reviewed this deep conditioner a minute ago i don't think it made my list of like my favorite protein deep conditioners but it's definitely one that is one of those deep conditioners like if i see that it's on sale I'm buying it. You know what I'm saying? If it's on sale. There are certain protein deep conditioners that it doesn't have to be on sale. I'm going to buy it regardless. So that just lets you guys know where I stand with this one. Definitely don't have a problem with it though. It's all. So with that being said, let's, cause I feel like this is kind of, this is a great segue to what I'm going to be talking about today in the Say What Curl segment. Say what, curl? Let's go. So, this week, well, this on this beautiful Sunday, we're going to be talking about hair products, okay? And, wow, I feel like I need to bag back so you guys can see the hang time now. Golly, I'm all the way back here now. Yep, slight flex. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay, so... I've been completely natural for about a year, two months, almost three, almost a year and three months, completely natural. Before that, I had a two year, five month transition. So, you know, it's no secret that the last time I relaxed my hair was 2016. Yeah. So I got some hair, but um, as you guys may know, some of y'all may know that the products that I loved when I was transitioning or even just relax or text lex, which means I basically um, uh, under processed my hair on purpose. So I had texture left in my hair and I loved it. Um, I'm getting all off topic. <laughs> so yeah, there's no secret that 
I, I enjoy all of it. But what I can say is, like I said, the products that I used and loved when my hair was in those states, my hair don't really be feeling it now like that. With that being said, being natural, well, returning to natural, I had so much to try <laughs> as a first time natural, naturalista. <laughs> I had so many products to try and see which one I liked. I've been a hardcore product junkie. This, the product junkie that I've been over the last year has been definitely higher at an all time high, higher than any other time. And I've been in these hair streets a minute, bro. Like <laughs> I've been in these hair streets a minute. I've spent so much money of my money. You know what I'm saying? Like some, I've, gotten products like sent to me pr packages but most of it has been my money and i have spent it and enjoyed it <laughs> and just trying anything that i wanted to try and like i said y'all know i've i've discovered certain things i've tried so many products that i've discovered that my favorite products all has like a connect and y'all already know like i'm i love me some good aloe vera in a product um, as an opposed to like glycerin, which I don't have a problem with it. It just really depends on the product, but I would rather see aloe vera in there. And I'm saying all this to say, bro, I think at this point, I'm going to put my product junkieism on hold. <laughs> and I'm saying this like with two months before black friday and i want to i want to let y'all know i'm always about to pull my earring off but i want to let y'all know that black friday i know a lot of people try not to spend on black friday unless it's a deal but black friday is legit the it's like a hair holiday that's when you know you finna get 50 percent off hell some it depends on what kind of products you like you can even find like 60 percent off sales black friday is legit the time to stock up on your hair product list now my first black friday natural was last year people were like <laughs> i was asking people like where did they where were they buying and they was like oh no i had a list of products that i wanted to try and i'm just gonna stick to my list i got a list of sites i want to hit up and you know find the deals and i'm like this i'm just going to each side and buying what i want <laughs> buying what i want if i see it i want it you know if, i mean you know if i want it i buy it like i said if i see it i want it i mean that too <laughs> but like girl i didn't have any kind of strategy i was just spending money and probably spent too much but i had buku products buku products i never tried for a discounted rate like what other way did to be like a product junkie on a budget like <laughs> I ain't running off in these stores. Well, in some cases I am. It just depends. If the product is new, the line is new, then I probably would. But most of the time I like to buy because of the, the frugal person that I am. And these products are not cheap. I like to catch them on sale. I love a good sale. So last year for Sally's, I got 50% off deep conditioners. And I had, I basically didn't run out of deep condition. I'm, I have a few more left now, but that was last break, fi break, fi break, Black Friday. And I was, I ran low a little, but you know, I bought, I bought some again. Um, I think they had like fall set, not fall, summer sales and stuff like that. Well, they had really good sales too on certain deep conditioners that's really now that i've tried like a lot of hair product lines and stuff i really just splurge these days on deep conditioners because i feel like i found my products what product do you guys love but you never seen me try put that in the description box was our description box put that in the comment section because honey i think i've tried just about everything and the only things that I can say that I pretty much don't stay away from are rinse out conditioners from from expensive lines. Like I'm not gonna buy a rinse out conditioner 
to rinse out. You know what I'm saying? Like, say for instance, like the main choice, like the conditioners you put in your hair, it'd be like, you read the back and it's like, leave in for three minutes and then rinse out or leave in for five minutes and rinse out. Like, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying it. It's a scam. Girl, my hair begins to... <laughs> It's a scam. Like, I feel like those are the things that's kind of a waste to me, of me trying because I have so much hair. I can go through that bottle within a wash or two washes, like for the rinse out. So those are the products that I normally don't try, and I don't try a lot of twisting butters and stuff like that because I don't really do like a lot of twist outs or braid outs. But I'm trying, guys. I'm gonna try it. The prep time is so long. I mean, I mean the, you know, I ain't gonna say the prep time is long. I'm gonna say the drying time is so long. So I'm still trying to ease back into that life because even when I used to like text flex my hair or, you know, I had processed hair, even then if I had do, did a twist out, I could just guarantee, you know what I'm saying? I had a guaranteed result of dry hair 24 hours later. Now, I might unravel, unravel a twist. It's damp. It's freezing out. It's puffing out. Like, it's just so much. It's so much added pressure to me now. But I'm, I'm looking to perfect that. But I don't plan on splurging on any other products. And I said all that to say, <laughs> I got a main choice shipment coming really, really soon. I don't know if y'all caught that, but the main choice had a 60% off sale site wide. Girl, I went crazy. Of course, I didn't go crazy on too much because um, some of their products, some of their products have biotin, like are loaded with like biotin and stuff. And my hair be kind of funny to eat, but I did. Yeah, I know one of my favorite deep conditioners, uh, the main choice ancient Egyptian hair mask. Is by the main choice, so I did re up on that, and I trying more deep conditioners, but it's on sale, and it's even, it's an even better sale because y'all know the main choice mask be twenty dollars, okay, twenty dollars. <laughs> Let me know if you kind of get what I was referencing when I said that, but too much. So I did get me some six percent off deep conditioners. They on the way. And I enjoy having to choose and actually you guys seeing my first read impressions. I like to try new deep conditioners on my live screen deep condition because it just lets y'all know what I'm, I'm letting y'all literally seeing like in real time my reaction to certain products. So yeah, um, <laughs> I think I done hung up my product junkie card. I've tried everything and then even lately, when I've been doing like my wash and goes and stuff like that, I haven't been really excited about like washing my hair. Like, let me try this. I used to be so excited. It was like, I used to, people were like, how often do you wash your hair? And I'm like, I wash it one to two times a week. And people be like, that is too much. Like two times. I mean, one, two, two. In some cases it might be two. In some cases it could just be one. Lately it's been one sis. I know what works. And if I'm trying something new, of course, that's probably the time. If it don't turn out right, those are probably the instances that I probably would have to do it twice in a week to, like, get that product out. But, yeah. Anyways, let me know what you think about this. Or have you, are you still, like, a product junkie after years? Because I've been doing this way too long to be still out in these streets. But I needed my natural hair to know what the other lines, like, had for it possibly but now we know i know what to look for i know what's not not to spend my money on so yeah that. okay we're done with the say what curl segment let's slide smoothly into the witty lists for the week i basically been revisiting old projects and i don't know what it is i freaking love miguel i've seen him in concert multiple times i paid i paid some good money to see miguel and i've even traveled to see miguel i love miguel so i've been revisiting his project his latest project warren leisure and i was thinking like this warren leisure came out with two years ago it's time for another album like i need to hit the kid up on the gram like what's good miguel i don't know but i've been revisiting that project but 
I got some witty homework for y'all today. So the witty homework is going to be by, her name is Eileen Shoji, and the song is called Cruise. Real smooth tune, kind of gives you um, just kind of the same vibe when I, the witty homework from last week. If you missed that, go check that out, sis. It gives you like that same vibe. Like it's so chill, so relaxing, but I really, I love the melody. It's just, I like it. Okay, so that, those are the witty, that's the witty homework for the week. One more segment. We got the witty reads. I read this week, this book called Made by Stephanie Lane, which I hated. And it, I didn't hate it as in a, like, oh my God, this book is boring. It ain't a video of I'm driving none. <laughs> but anyways, I didn't hate the book. Like, oh my God, this is boring. I can't read it. But I was just shocked and appalled of all the damn complaining that she was doing. I don't know. At first, I was like, oh, you know, thought she was just stressing it so we can understand where she was coming from. But 40% into the book, I'm like, girl, when is this going to stop? And it didn't until literally the 90% mark of the book and I was almost done. The only reason I wanted to finish reading that book because I thought, okay, when is the part that she stopped? And it was, it was so abrupt. Like the last 2% <laughs> of the book. It stopped. So, ugh, I didn't like it. I know people who have um, given the book really good reviews. Not for me. Anyways, the, the book I'm currently reading is by Cupcake Brown. And it's called Piece of Cake. This book has been out there a minute. A lot of people love this book. And I am loving the book. I've, I'm over halfway done. It's a really, really long book. But it's not long and boring. It's long and action packed. Also, I'm going to take this time to let you guys know that we are going to be discussing the Witty Book Club. We're going to be discussing the book for the for the month, the last book for the month. And it's called, I mean, I talked about it last week, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Skloot. And yeah, join the discussion, you guys. Please tune in to my live stream. It's going to be next Sunday. Y'all already know I typically have it around like 2.30 to 3.30, like that mark. Um, mark your calendars. We're going to be discussing the book. If you've seen the movie or if you've already read the book, please stop by and interact because maybe you can get like a shout out on the next pre-recorded um, deep condition video like like this one. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video on the day on the day out. Like this video on the way out, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Peace.